Welcome to Rick's Europe, where today we're going to discuss the new bill that was recently passed by the Spanish government that would actually legalize thousands of immigrants that came to Spain without any documents. With us today is Herman Terch from Box uh, ECR. Thank you for being here today. So this bill that your government just passed, could you tell a little bit more about it? Yeah, hello. Yeah, well, it's... Uh, uh It's a it's an absolutely appalling decision uh, that the government wants it one in one move to legalize 500,000 illegal immigrants who came in violating the laws of Spain and gives a terrific a terrorizing signal to the world and to the uh, countries where this immigration comes from, saying that, well, in Spain, you can go illegally into the country that you will be, you will become legal sooner or later. You will get a, you will get a legalization and you will be, uh, you will be there uh, benefiting from, from all the, all the, the kind of services that, that you get in Spain when you are, When you're legal in Spain, we have a we have very very a, a very a difficult uh, decisions to take, and but one of the most important one, um, besides of course um, getting rid of this government, which is a criminal government, who has an alliance with criminals for being in power, which is a unique case in Spain. This government has uh, has a pact with a uh, with a uh, uh, with people who had to flee from Spain because of a coup, who are refugees in in Europe, and can't go to Spain because they would be arrested and prosecuted, and the government has a pact with them for the seven votes they need in Parliament, uh, for being staying in power, staying in power and staying in impunity. And the decision of this, of regularization or legalizing of 500 illegal immigrants, as I say, with no control whatsoever about their whereabouts, about their identity, about the, what, where they were coming from, what they did before, who they are, anything, legalizing this. Uh, this uh, enormous amount of, of illegal immigrants is, uh, poses an enormous danger for this Spanish society. And is another additional crime of this uh, government we have with Sanchez and the communists. So, okay, let's go, let's, let's, let's break it down to some parts. Yeah. First of all, if I understand it right, it was the government that proposed this bill because they needed it to secure that they would stay in power. Is that correct? The amnesty, yes. The amnesty, we speak about the amnesty against the amnesty that favors the criminals. Uh, who made the coup in the 2017, uh, the, the people who were, uh, who fled from Spain, Puigdemont, among others, who is in, in, the, in the European Parliament, which is another insult from the European Union to Spain and to the legality of Spain. And that made it easy for Sanchez, who had been protected by von der Leyen in a very obscene way, you know, this government with all the abuses in Spain of this government, they have always had the protection of Ursula von der Leyen. Meanwhile, other governments, conservative governments who, who played uh, really in, in a fair way, were harassed uh, by, were harassed and mobbed by, by von der Leyen and the commission. And that's the case of the former government of, of Poland that also about the, uh, it's also the case of Hungary now. But we're talking about Spain. Is this actually something that the people of Spain want? Did they ask for this? No, no, they, uh, I think the, the last poll say it's, uh, 
80, almost 80 percent of the Spaniards are against this amnesty. And I don't know the figures now about the regularization of the of the legalization of the immigrants, but they, it could be it could be similar. But they couldn't care less. They have a majority with 70. I don't know 12. 12 parties or something like that, uh, that they have a, a majority, a tiny majority in government. All the parties which are enemies of the Constitution are around the, around the prime minister, and they, they, as they have common interests, the common interests of staying there, of using the European funds, because that's one of the major questions. It's the, the, the total uncontrolled abuse of the of the European funds of the money I mean what we are seeing in Spain is a monstrous theft eh, of, of of public money of European public money which is coming into you in Spain and and is being assigned by the government to friends and to and to and to different uh, different uh, organizations and enterprises who are who are favorable to them and buying for them, buying favors for the for the uh, for the government. In this sense, uh, the the malversion, uh, embezzlement, or uh, however you want to uh, to call it, that you have in Spain in this moment is absolutely monstrous. Now we have a judge has finally opened a case against the wife of Pedro Sanchez. Finally, eh, because she is involved in I, who knows how many cases eh, where she uses a European money for favoring uh, uh, operations of, of companies which in, 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 in return uh, make favors or to the party or to herself. I mean, it's, it's really uh, obnoxious what we're seeing in Spain in this moment. And, no, and, the, and the commission says eh, nothing. I mean, they're speaking about corruption in, in Hungary or corruption in, uh, they spoke about corruption in Poland. Now they disappeared with the corruption in Poland as there was a change of government. Now there's nothing about that, but they are completely silent about what is happening in Spain in this moment, which is the biggest scandal in Europe. In any case, in any case, it's 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 a government which is completely devoted, devoted of to 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 cheat the public, to cheat the Spaniards, and to to uh, and, uh, to commit high treason. Because they are in, they are in, in an alliance with the, with the criminals who made the coup d'etat. Uh, and, and, and all of that, uh, with the, the, with the sideline, which is the continuously a uh, use, the use of the public money yeah. for private and political affairs. Okay, so there's a lot that we need to discuss yeah. now because, okay, the topic was the, the legalization of illegal migration, yeah. but what you're saying now is very, it's, it's almost terrifying because what you just said is that basically that the EU tax money that is being paid by EU citizens is being wasted by corrupt politicians in your country while the commission knows it and allows it. Did I understand this right? The commission, doesn't, the commission doesn't investigate it in any case. We had some uh, people of the, of the budget commission going to Spain. And what did Holmeyer say, who is a member of the European Parliament? And, 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 and she, she presides the, the commission of the, of, of the budget. Uh, uh, she said she hadn't, she wouldn't, hadn't the slightest idea where the money uh, was that she was looking for, and she didn't get the information. But the, 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 this goes, the, the, this goes one day after the other. Yeah, uh, but I think uh, we're seeing this kind, this kind of uh, public money going into the into this places where the government needs it for political arrangements. Yeah, but I think me and I think all the people that are watching right now are thinking, but wait, this is tax money. This is money that's being earned, that's earned, is earned by hardworking people that are, that sometimes don't even have the, the, the means to make means end, to pay for electricity, housing. 
that happens in Spain. In Spain, we had the highest tax rise that we had in Europe in the last six years has been in Spain. I mean, the buying power of the of the of the Spaniards is collapsing. Uh, we had a thirty percent increase for normal citizens. Uh, what is happening in Spain? In Spain is is really is really terrifying. But the money is being used, as I say, is being used openly and very obscene in a very obscene way uh, and provocative way. Even uh, it's used by this government for political purposes and for their own benefit. But Mr. Terrence, you're also in government. How are you going to, how are you going to fix this issue? How are you going to make sure that this corruption is going to stop? Well, I'm not in government. I want this government to to fall. When this government falls, they will have to go. All of these people will have to go to uh, to sit in a, on trial. I mean, what we're having in Spain, it's a it's a fight for power, and it's a fight for power with a government which is far more similar to Latin American uh, socialist corrupted governments than to European, uh, let's say, all traditional European governments. Now in, in Europe, uh, things are changing very quickly as well, and we are seeing many things in the governments in all Europe that would not be tolerated in Europe 15 years ago. Let's don't talk about the 30 years, 30 years or 40 years when say, where there were codes uh, of, of behavior in, in, the, in the governments in, in, in Europe that you wouldn't dream now uh, of having. But, but what is happening in Spain is far more Venezuelan type or Bolivian type or Colombian type than a uh, Northern European type. How is this going to affect the other countries in Europe? Not only the corruption that we're discussing right now, but also this bill that, that's been passed in your country, because now what basically yeah. is happening is that being an illegal immigrant, you get you get your documents, yeah. even if you cannot even show your papers. How is it going to affect, and um, let's take, for example, France? Everybody, it's, it's affecting everybody. This 500, this half a million, uh, is not only the half a million which will be legalized and they will go openly through uh, the whole Schengen uh, space and they, they, they will be everywhere. And as I say, they are un un absolutely uncontrolled immigration. We don't know if they have some some kind of disease, and we don't know what they have done, been doing before. They are normally, normally young men in military age. That's systematically the kind of people who arrive in our coasts, in the Canary Islands, in the Balearic Islands, on the coast in Andalusia. Uh, People, young people, healthy, absolutely healthy, absolutely well fed. They are not coming from any war. They are not coming from any famine. They are not coming from any kind of, of crisis. They are coming because they want to come uh, to Europe uh, and to live in Europe, not working exactly, but but uh, benefiting from the services that they have. It, it is an immigration that has nothing to do with our Latin American immigration. Our Latin, Latin American immigration, which speaks our, country, our language, which has our religion, which has our culture, the Spanish culture, they, they have no problem of integrating, but uh, they have an, another uh, important difference. They come to work. They want to work, they want to prosper, they want to develop their families, and so on. You know, the, the, the immigration that comes from the South, from Africa, they don't come to work. They, want, they, they are looking for the life, for, for looking what they find, and so on, but they don't come to make a family, they don't come to prosper, they don't come to integrate. No, not, uh, not at all, I mean, and, and we, have, we are creating Muslim uh, communities uh, of young people, as I say, in military age, which are alone, which in Spain you have a part of the Moroccans who are family and who are systematically using the, the social system of Spain for a permanent abuse, a permanent. 
That means they, they, they have five children and they live from having five children. They, when the father doesn't work, the mother doesn't, don't work, they get a flat, they get, they get for every, they get the money for, for each child and they get the medicines and many of the medicines are then shipped to Morocco and so on. I mean, they, the culture of the abuse has come to an extreme, extreme alarming uh, levels. And uh, now this, this legalization, uh, regularization of, uh, of a half a million will provoke a call for the next wave. And the next wave it will be two millions or three millions and the next six millions because if these people here are treated as as far better than the Spaniards. I mean, the Spaniards, uh, the Spanish widows eh, who have been working 40, 45 years and 50 years, and they are getting 400 and so, or 600, uh, 600 euros a month, and they don't have money for, for heat, for heating, and they don't have money for, for finishing the month. And you see that you have a young Moroccan, a healthy a, a man in Spain who are receiving 1,000 and 1,200 uh, euros for doing absolutely nothing, uh, getting a, they get a phone, they get, and so they call at their, their parents and their friends and their cousins and they, they, the village and they say, well, uh, that's marvelous here where I don't have to work, I, I get what I want, and the next generation, all these people who should be working in their countries for the development of their countries. They go and they decide oh, we want to live as well in the consumer paradise as, as, our, as our cousins who are in Spain or who are in Germany or who are in France. The effect of this effecto llamada, it's called the core effect, eh, attraction effect that this regularization provokes will multiply our problems. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a disaster, and behind that is the thought of the left in Spain that they are running out of voters and that they want to import voters because they are voters who are ignorant, who don't know them, who are going to be grateful for being legalized. And so as they are legalized by the socialists, they will vote a uh, socialist. And that's what we are seeing. We are seeing how people from Vox are attacked in now in the campaigns, in the electoral campaign, are attacked and are attacked by foreigners. In, in our country, we are attacked by foreigners and are foreigners who, who say, uh, long live Sanchez. Long live Sanchez because he gives them, uh, he gives them money eh? and, and, uh, and they attack us. But they are loyal, of course, they are loyal to, to Islam. They are not loyal to Spain, they are not loyal to Sanchez. They will vote for Sanchez, but they will be loyal to, uh, to Islam and uh, they, they are also an enormous enormous security issue, a security issue for whole Europe, but mainly an enormous security, a security issue for Spain. So they're basically a pion used by Sanchez to get, to make sure that he's getting the votes that he needs. Well, I'm saying that uh, Sanchez, yeah, Sanchez is looking for that. I mean, it's not only Sanchez. We are seeing this effect also, I would say, in the in the United States, and we are seeing this uh, this effect in other places. But in in Spain, it is very, very evident. It's very, it's it's very obvious, and it's it's enormously outraging. Then the last question is that this bill was actually backed by the Catholic. Church. Yeah. What is your take on that? That's the problem with the Catholic Church. The Catholic Church has a, um, a has an enormous a, enormous problem of seeing the real pro of seeing uh, the real issues and and to no, not not taking this kind of short steps uh, in they think. They will promote themselves among progressiveness, eh? taking these decisions where they put in danger their whole country. 
they are putting, they are, they are, they are, they are helping to put in, in, in danger the whole country with their so-called humanitarian position, which is not humanitarian because it's anti-humanitarian for Spaniards. Spaniards suffer in the, and in the poor quarters, in the poor cities, in the, in the, in the, in the little towns and so on, they suffer enormous of the presence of people who are violent, where, where the criminality, criminality against women, very special, very specially, I mean, have risen uh, really to the, to the, to the roof, uh, and, and we, we are having, problems with security that we never had in Spain. And that is this way, this attitude, this hypocritical attitude also of the, also of the Spanish Catholic Church. So you're saying that statement that the Catholic Church is posing a threat to the national security of Spain? No, I say the, 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 the Spanish Catholic Church uh, not having the courage to confront the real problem which poses the illegal immigration is helping the forces, that means the government, uh, to destroy security in Spain, social cohesion in Spain, national identity in Spain. They are helping all to all these evils uh, uh, where they are, they are making a a major contribution, yeah. Thank you very much. Thank My you. pleasure. Mm -hmm.